Welcome to Flash Tutorial 26, Rotate an Object Using Action Script. Going to start a new FLA, keep an Action Script 3, uh, call this layer Objects, O, B, J, are different objects, they're going to be shapes. Uh, click on the rectangle tool here. If you're seeing an oval tool, you're all right. If not, click this corner. I want to see the oval tool. I'm putting black as my stroke. That's the outside. And red as my fill. And here I'm going to hold my shift button down. Make a circle. Going to pick up my selection tool. Highlight it. Right click. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. Click the center for the registration point and call this circle C I R underscore M C. Copy that and paste that in for an instance name. Lock this objects layer, insert layer, call it action script. AS and click on the first layer, open the actions panel, type in this, type, type, type this code. We're going to start with an event listener, stage, S T A G E, small s turns blue, period, add event listener, small a capital E at capital L, that turns blue, open bracket, event, capital E V E N T, period, that turns blue. Enter underscore frame. That's uh, all capital letters, upper, uppercase. Comma, and I'm calling it ent frame, capital E, capital F, close bracket, semicolon. This is calling that function up. Function turns purple. Copy ent frame, paste it in. Open bracket E, small e, colon, event. Capital E V E N T turns blue, close bracket, colon, void, void and function are the same color. There's an open curly bracket. And as you start typing here, you'll get this closed curly bracket. And C I R underscore M C, that's that circle we just made. Period. Rotation. R O T A T I O N. Small R turns blue. Plus plus semicolon and close curly bracket. This means plus plus means to uh, add one degree and in this case it's going to happen 24 times a second because that's our this is our frame rate now go back to the timeline lock the actions layer unlock the object layer double click on it now I'm inside that movie clip call this layer the circle C I R lock that layer insert layer call it line or indicator L I N E I'm calling it line and I'm going to make the very large here 400 I'm picking up the pencil tool right here and I'm just going to draw a little circle or line right here so we can see this turning go back to the main scene one timeline and let's test this out test movie test and if I look close, I can see that little dot is turning. Okay, so that's working. All right, let's lock that layer. Go back to 100%. Unlock that layer. Push that up in the corner for now. Um, I want the keep the oval tool. Click on it. It's oval tool. This time now, I want to use uh, blue, for example. Make an oval. There it is. Pep selection tool. Highlight it. Right click. Convert it to a symbol. Make sure a movie clip is selected. Center registration. Oval. O V A. That's the underscore M C. Copy that. Open the properties panel, paste it in for an instance name. Select 
the first frame of the actions layer open the actions layer copy this right click copy this and put an enter paste it in and this is oval OVA movie clip and instead of plus plus we're going to minus minus so this should turn the opposite direction when we test it control test movie test that's turning this way and that's turning this way and it's going at a frame rate of one degree I believe one degree 12 times a, uh, 24 times a second I believe that Okay, let's go back to scene one. Uh, the objects layer is unlocked. Let's pick up a different color here. Let's pick up the uh, yellow, for example. I'm going to go now with the rectangle tool. So click in the corner, rectangle. And I'm going to make, hold my shift down. I have a square now. Highlight that. Right click. Converting it to a symbol, SQU square underscore MC, copy this, and paste this in for an instance name. I do these quite slow because they're for people learning Flash. Back to the main timeline, I'm opening the actions panel again and copy this copy it couple enters paste it in and this got to be square squ and this time i want to make it turn the same direction as this one so it's going to be uh, plus equals I believe and let's make this turn first of all at 90 at um, 15 degrees so it's going to turn the same direction as this but instead of turning that one degree per frame rate it's going to turn 15 degrees so this is going to turn relatively quick control test movie test there it goes this is going fast this is going fast this is going way faster and naturally I could just change this and have it go the opposite direction by making it a minus equals and let's go back to the timeline make sure this objects layer is unlocked uh, I want to pick up the rectangle tool on a different color let's go with a green hold the shift down make a square now pick up your selection tool and come close to you get that right angle click drag it close to the center of that click here get that right angle drag it close and there's a triangle selection tool highlight it right click convert it to a symbol same format here T R I underscore MC copy that and paste it in for an instance name We'll go back to the actions frame here click here at the end of the close curly bracket couple of enters and type 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 this code try underscore MC this is that add event listener similar to up here open bracket mouse event capital M capital E turns blue period all of this is capital uppercase mouse underscore down comma and I'm calling this function rotate try R O T T R I capital R capital T close bracket semicolon function uh, copy rotate try paste it in open bracket event E V E N T small E colon mouse event you can copy this mouse event and paste it in close bracket colon void there's an open curly bracket for the function there's the close curly bracket for the function try underscore MC that's the movie clip we just made period 
You could actually copy this and paste it in and change some things around. R-O-T-A-T-I-O-N turns blue, small r, plus equals 20, semicolon. Let's make this minus equals 20, and it should spin the opposite way to the one we just made up here, that square. So now let's test this movie. Now, it turns, every time I click it, it turns 20 degrees. Now I want to test this once more and show you something. Test this. And when I click down, that's when the, on the down, soon the most goes down, it's turning. So if I went back here and took this mouse down out and put click, C-L-I-C-K, and try it. I click down, nothing happens. It's when I leave it go, it turns. So that's the difference between mouse down and click. And I'm going to leave with mouse down. Just undo it. Okay, I'm back on the main timeline again. I'm selecting this object's layer. Going to pick up a different color this time, a sort of a light bluish. Pick up my rectangle tool. Not, not holding the shift down. I'm making a rectangle. Highlight it. Right click, convert to a symbol. Again, following the same format. Call this rec, R-E-C underscore M-C. Copy that. And paste it in. Okay, let's go back to the main timeline, back to the action script. And I'm going to scroll up to the very top, put a couple enters, arrow key up and we're going to make a variable. A variable is just a place where information goes. In this case we're going to just keep track of a of a number. Okay, you'll see what's used for. VAR turns purple, space REC, capital R, I'm calling it rec, colon number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R. As you type this, a drop-down menu will come and eventually you'll see the word number. You can just press enter or you can Right, type it out, equals 1, semicolon. So when we start off, this variable is going to be equal to 1. Now down here, inside of this stage event listener, after this square rotation, a couple of enters, we're going to test that number, that variable. So type, type this code. If if turns purple, open bracket, rec, that's that variable we just made, REC equals equals minus one close bracket and it's right now we made it one so this test is not true this test is not true so this will not happen yet so minus one close bracket there's the open curly bracket for the if there's a closed curly bracket for when we start typing this comes in if not put it in so there should be two closed curly brackets in between these two statements and inside of these two brackets says rec underscore mc period rotation just similar to this format here plus equals five semicolon so now when we first start this because this variable is one this test will not be true and this will not happen so way down the bottom after this triangle one put a couple enters and type this code, type, 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 type. Rec underscore MC, period, add event listener. So you can copy this, add event listener. You can actually copy from here right to there and paste it in, add event listener, open bracket, mouse event, period, click. You could use mouse down, but I'm using click this time. Uppercase, all capitals, C-L-I-C-K, comma, rotate rec. R-O-T, capital R, capital R, rotate rec, close bracket, semicolon, function, paste in rotate rec here, copy and paste it in, uh, open bracket, you could actually copy from here to there and paste it in. So it's open bracket, event, colon, most event, close bracket, colon, void. There's the open curly bracket for the function, the close curly bracket here for the function, and we're saying this time, rec, 
equals rec asterisk. That's the uppercase of number 8. That's multiplied by minus 1 semicolon. Uh, semicolon. When you multiply by something by minus 1, you just change the sign. And I'm just going to click here and format this. Straightens it a little bit for me. So now let's try that. So when I click, it starts to rotate. When I click, it'll stop. When I click, it starts to rotate. When I click, it stops. That's pretty interesting. So I think that's uh, enough for this video, this tutorial. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.